Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about 3D printing and the best ways to prepare your file for that. So the three types of 3D printers we offer is the Lulzbot Mini, the Lulzbot Taz 6, and the Forms Lab 3 resin printer. Both Lulzbots are FDM filament printers, and the Forms Labs 3 is a SLA resin printer. Now FDM or filament printers use a plastic filament extruded through a nozzle in layers to create an object. SLA resin printing uses a small laser to fuse together a pool of resin to pull out a solid object. Um, we offer FDM printing for free, but SLA resin printing will come at cost. When setting up a file for 3D printing, a great place to start would be the 3D printing Rhino template found on the CLC website. You first must determine which printer you would like to use. Both the Lulzbot's print volumes are set within the layers of the print template so you can determine if your object will fit within the bounds of the print volume. Forms Labs 3 printing is by CLC tech discretion or by instructor request. To print an object, it must be one solid closed object with no extraneous surfaces or curves, like so. Here are some quick do's and don'ts of 3D printing file formats. Please do not submit a file with extraneous curves present please delete all curves. Also, please do not submit a file with multiple objects in the file. Please Boolean union all objects. Also, please make sure that your object is on the zero plane. The filament printing nozzle is 0.5 millimeters wide. This means that any geometry smaller than 0.5 millimeters wide is read as non-existent by the 3D printing software. Let's look and see what happens to this object, which has a thickness that is smaller than 0.5 millimeters. In the 3D printing software, it reads that wall as simply non-existent. So here we have our 3D model. One solid closed object placed on the C-plane. We can determine that it fits within the Lulzbot Mini print volume by selecting this layer. Then when we bring it into the 3D printing software, we can see that we're going to need some support because we have some overhangs here and here. When we run the slicing software, we can see where the support needs to be implemented. We can take it down layer by layer to make sure everything will print successfully. Filaments we offer for FDM printing are PLA, which is a plastic, T-Glaze, which is a semi-translucent plastic, PET-G, which is a more durable plastic, and Ninja Flex, which is a rubbery, flexible material. As always, CLC and DMC staff are here for your help, so if you ever need anything, Feel free to reach out on Teams or by our phone numbers found on the website. <laughs>